Welcome back to Jimmy Max What? How come we haven't gotten our own ring yet? Literally. Well, anyway, I don't know what that means, Rachel, but. It's an amazing oh, girl. God. I know we have an Intercontinental um, title match right now. I may have. If you were thinking about getting popcorn, I wouldn't because yes, that's the best thing this ain't going to last long. <laughs> I love ah. with Brendan my has vowed to win the Intercontinental Championship, I really do think but that we are soulmates. he's going against the number um, one contender for the world title, Amarel McDaniel. That doesn't make any difference. He's Brendan. He ain't going to do anything. Oh, man. Because the undefeated. He hasn't lost a match in months, and Brendan, who's had one match in his career, thinks he's gonna win. He shouldn't even get the title match. Don Bronchitis is an idiot. Well, I guess Glamorel still has to defend the title every 30 days or so. I guess. So here we go. Brendan made a vow to Pac-Man Jones to end the streak and win the title. Oh, come on. Oh. oh, are you kidding me? Let's go! Beat this streak already! You really think Brendan, Rachel's idiot of a boyfriend is gonna beat Lamarell McDaniel Who's and his momentum take his title. Who's and Rachel? You know who Rachel is. Shut up. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. You do. Whatever. I would like to forget her sometimes <laughs> too, but I guess, you know, that's life. Only Don Bronchitis likes her, and I guess that's all that matters since he's the VP of talent. And look at that! Brendan with a punch! It's more offense I thought he'd get. Oh, boy. Oh! World's strongest slam! I thought that was someone else's move. Apparently. Oh boy. Oh, what a vicious slam! Blamorel's not going easy on the newbie. I know, he's really a newbie. He used, he's used to being a veteran, but right now. Oh, look at that! Brendan's coming back! That's weird! He actually hit a move, but Blamorel just gets right back up. That is weird. Does he have, like, some kind of invisible suit on that? Oh, wait a minute! Oh, he's choking him out now! Slamorel have some sort of suit on that protects him from being beaten. Maybe. You never know. Or maybe he's just been so dominating because of what New Legacy said about him and made fun of his name. And he just... Oh, no. He's just not... He could end this anytime he wanted. Brennan's got, like, three moves on him. Oh! Brennan. Come on! This is going on longer than I thought. I think Lamorel's just toying with Brendan. So I guess we can take this time to talk about Lamorel and Pac-Man. Do you think that Pac-Man Jones can end the streak? Yes. I think Brendan might. He just... Oh, never mind. Swing neckbreaker to a no effect. I mean, Pac-Man Jones, if Frollo can't beat Hogan... I don't think Pac-Man can beat Ho Hogan at Jeremania, so maybe we do want someone like Lamorel as champion heading in. Someone who has the momentum to beat Hogan. Well, what if he doesn't beat Hogan? Well, then we're screwed. This is just a game of what-ifs, but you can't take chances. We can take a chance on a Lamorel bomb! Uno, dos, tres. And... That's it. Speak Spanish. I only like Spanish when it's with a guy. Here we see the Lamero I bomb. I am with Robin. You're like eight years old. The Lamero bomb. Predict this one like about four minutes. Jeez, it's about to be over in one. But regardless, such a dominating victory over Rachel's booky Brendan. Retaining. <laughs> oh no! Flurry's it's Rachel. Oh I God. Am <laughs> Not even I like this woman. She wants. I'm gonna make some really big, soft, sweet cookies. Do you want some? I want <laughs> nobody's cookies, actually. Oh, you idiot, Rachel! Don't. Oh, Rachel, what are you thinking? Why would you willingly just attack someone like Lamarell McDaniel? I don't know what's wrong with her. What do you think? She's so stupid. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. Exactly. Lamarell yeah. makes the point. It was a title match. Of course he's going to attack Brendan. Well, you're obviously going to lose at Horizon. Well. You're a girl. Boy. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Speaking of girls, Rachel. Oh, you idiot. Rachel wants an intercontinental title match. Right now. Right now. No. She, 
You think she can win? Nah, pretty sure she can. You're an idiot. She's a. She may be a great competitor, but she can't beat Lamorel. You can't end the streak. She can't end the streak. She can't. No, she can't. She gonna end the streak. Oh, I make a bet. Right. I will take off my mask if she ends the streak. Here we go. And there you go. Because guess what? A streak is over, and it ain't his winning streak. It's it is hers. Rachel. One, two, three. Wow. Wow. Jinx. No, it doesn't work like that. Lamarell McDaniel once again retains his Intercontinental Championship against Brenchel here tonight. Brenchel. Brenchel. It's you. Anyway, the Lamaro bomb puts her away. Let's see that replay. Look at her butt. She's got a big butt. How about you kiss her? No, I'm a woman. No, you aren't. Yeah, I am. Yeah, man. Bam! Lamoral bomb. It's, it's Lamoral. It's all over. Referring to Pac-Man Jones earlier tonight. Can he be stopped? I think he. I, actually, I agree with you. I don't think he can. I think he can be stopped. My phone is gonna have to wait, and so are we. We'll be right back with a Danny Jackpot match. But first, Jeremax Horizon. I'm going to defeat Blee Blee Blee. <laughs> oh no, you're not. Oh yeah, I am. I'm keeping my mask, boy. And that's how it's gonna be. Oh god. Danielle Bryan puts the title on the line. Women's title against Grandma Gower. I don't care who wins. I don't care about that match at all. Fatal 4-Way for the vacant hardcore title puts the random nobody against Mongo, Matt Icorn, and Kalen Rogers. Should be a good one. All former champs. Likewise, the man, Grover Cleveland, LFA, Sheamus, and everybody's favorite Redcorn take on each other for the European title. <laughs> Dwarf Legal then takes on his former Vertex mate, Jart Angle. Dork Legleton. Dork Legleton? That's mean. It's not a dork. <laughs> Tag team titles on the line as Vertex is Hassan and Gomez take on Danny Jackpot and the A-list <laughs> David Otunga, known as the Spotlight. Yeah, it's Dork Legleton. Oh man, this is a big one. Hogan and Frollo is finally gonna happen. Can Frollo destroy Hogan or will Hogan's reign of terror continue on to Jeremania? Our main event, Pac-Man Jones against the Unstoppable. Lamorel McDaniel for the World Heavyweight Championship. We both think Lamorel can win. Do you? We'll have to wait and see at Horizon. Which is We got Vortex in. Oh, here we go. It's student versus teacher time. Lucas Gomez taking on your favorite pal, Danny Jackpot. Thanks. You better not. We need your expertise in the pre-wrestling. I hate Danny Jackpot! Yeah, you do. You ate Vertex because here comes one half of the tag team yes, champions. I'm so happy. Lucas Gomez. <laughs> Lucas Gomez was brought to Jeremax by Danny Jackpot back in the E-Fed days. But you owe me big time for this. You never leave during Danny matches before. You always have something nice to say about it. Stupid. What about the spotlight? Very stupid. Obviously accompanied by his spotlight brethren, the A-list Otunga. Stupid. Missing his bow tie, which is a real shame, because he looked pretty good on war. Uh, raw. War. Raw. What's raw? I don't know. It certainly doesn't say that up there on the stage. Sure or on the ring apron, because for some reason we don't have a warp arena, but here we go. Elbow to the head to start things off. So what... I'm, I'm still not really sure what you have against Danny Jackpot. He beat me like a million times in so you're just jealous? No, I'm angry at him. You don't sound angry. I really am, so at Jeremina, I would like a match against him. Ah, <laughs> you are already in a match against undefeated boxer Floyd Money Mayweather. That's going to be an exciting pre-show event. He is going to knock you out in three seconds. You are going to be done. I'm going to knock you out in two seconds at Horizon and make Floyd Mayweather look bad. 
Yeah. Rough Toehold by Danny Jackpot, everyone's favorite wrestler. Not everyone. Lucas Gomez representing the Vertex, who lost another member earlier tonight in El Jefe. So, what do you think about Al Hefe leaving Vertex? Was that the best idea? No. You would have stayed with Vertex. Mm, I hate Vertex. But you also hate Danny Jackpot. Yes. So who are you cheering for at Horizon? I guess Vertex. Are you kidding? They tried to run our company into the ground. You wouldn't have had a job if Vertex got their way. Nice slide. Oh, thought he was going for a baseball slide there. Look at Danny Jackpot, he's wearing red. Weird. What are you eating? Why? That's Long John Silver's you're eating! <laughs> That's their two-piece chicken with their world-famous batter! Only at Long John Silver's! <laughs> anyway, back to the action. Leg sweep, right side, slam type move. I don't know, I'm a woman. Denny off the top with a nice elbow to Lucas Gomez. That's gotta hurt. So much history between these two. Really? I think they should just work things out and go to Long John Silver's where you can find world <laughs> famous batter. <laughs> nice slam. <laughs> Only losers bred their chicken. You won't find breaded chicken at Long John Silver's. They have world famous batter. Oh, nice German suplex. Holds it for a pin. That's a count two like a two piece chicken. At Long John Silver's with the world famous batter. <laughs> it doesn't have that famous batter. It is world famous. Wait a minute. Cash out. Whoa, the screen just went black. They tried to censor Lucas Gomez. That's racist. Oh man, he kicked out of the cash out. Cash out? You're going to have a lot of cash saved if you go eat at Long John Silver's. <laughs> oh, what the heck? It's not like they're sponsoring us or anything. Out of the ring. Lucas Gomez obviously trying to keep the hardcore ways. He is the longest reigning hardcore champion. Actually, I set a camera in Long John Silver's and it's going. Oh, what is he doing? He's going to get disqualified. This is not a hardcore match, Lucas. One. He wants Dan. Danny's having none of that. <laughs> Lucas Gomez, a former hardcore champion, seems to have forgotten. Wait a minute. Oh, man. Over the ropes! Impressive move there from Gomez. Danny's gonna get counted out like every spotlight match ever. Exactly. Well, here it is. What is it? Oh! Cash out. I don't think he's getting... Oh, he got up. How much cash is he gonna have? Oh, German right... Oh, man, right on the steps, and that's enough. Not even the great world-famous batter of Long John Silvers is gonna save him now. That was... Nasty. I don't know why I didn't get disqualified. I don't want to look. You show the replay. First of all, those are steps. Whatever, stair steps! Oh, sick German right there. Oh, come on! Come on, A-list. Now he's bleeding. Oh, Tonga. Well, Lucas brought the steps into the ring. Oh, man. Where's Aladdin? I know he has a main event match against Pac-Man earlier, but you'd think he'd help out his partner. Yeah! What is Otunga thinking? Oh no! Oh! The Otunga right on the steps! That wasn't right on the steps, it was next to Oh, we got lucky then. Where is Aladdin? The spotlight is sending a message and Aladdin is nowhere to help his partner. It's Hassan. Oh! You think he's at Long John Silver's? Stop it! I'm just... I know this isn't a time to joke, but man! Aladdin Hassan has abandoned his tag partner and let the spotlight take control and the momentum in this feud. Wait, wait, wait. I'm about to get beat up. Not if you protect yourself. Because I just got the text, Steven Spider is calling you out next! Oh. Eat it, Long John Silvers! <laughs> no, don't. Do it. Don't. 